guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would film my kind of everyday makeup routine for you. I've seen a few uh, requests for this in the comments in quite a few of my videos and I haven't done one and I think in like a year or something. I'm not sure if I've actually even done one. I know I've done a go-to look, which I do plan to do an updated one of that too. But this is kind of like products and the kind of look that I like to go for on an everyday when I really can't be bothered to do that full glam type look that you see a lot here on my channel. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Obviously, like I said, this is my everyday makeup look. It's not gonna be up everyone's street. This might be people's glam looks for all I know. But for me, this is the kind of minimal everyday makeup that I like to wear. So if you like the look of this makeup look, then please keep watching. So before applying any sort of skin makeup, I always like to prep my skin, no matter, I'll do this like every day without fail, just because I find my makeup never sits the same unless I do so. So for my moisturiser, I like to use the Olay 2-in-1 Hydration Moisturiser and just apply that all over my skin. So what I really like about this, it smells amazing for one, and I think it has a tiny bit of like gradual tan to it. So it adds a bit of like colour back into your skin if you keep using it on like a regular basis. Then, ooh, then for primer, if I just need something that's gonna be, that I know it's like a go-to product for me. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in my favourites for my primers, like my all-time favourite primer in like a all-time favourite makeup. Oh, I can't even talk. So I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in like my all-time favourite beauty kind of video as one of my favourite primers and it is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer. Sometimes I, if I've got like more time, I moisturise with like the MAC Strobe Cream and then put a primer on the top. This is kind of like the two-in-one effect from that so that is why I really like this one and kind of it's like a go-to for everyday product for me. So either I use my hands to apply it or I actually really like to use a brush. You've seen me in my tutorials using the, I think this is like the multitask face brush. I don't know why I like to use a brush, sometimes I just think it just applies it a bit more evenly into the skin. But anything that's going to make me kind of like glowy or radiant throughout the day I really like. And it's super affordable too so I don't mind using it like every day. I swear I am like the worst at getting like eye gunk. I know that's really gross, but my friends always call me out on it. Rach, if you're watching, that was a bad one. For my skin, I tend to mix it up sometimes if I feel like going glam for the day or something, I'll wear like a full coverage foundation. But if it's kind of more an everyday basis, I need something quick, I tend to go for like BB creams or like a really lightweight foundation. And at the moment, I'm really, really liking the Hourglass Skin Tint. So it's kind of like that. BB cream formula, but if you don't have this one, two other ones that I really like are the Olay 2-in-1 BB cream or the IT Cosmetic CC cream. They both have a really similar formula, so if you're kind of more America, this one, UK, this one, they're really similar as well, and I like them just as much. I really like the skin tint because as you can see, and I always say, like my neck is a lot darker than my face, so I definitely need a tint to my skin to be able to like balance it out in colour. I just like to buff it into my skin and this is the BH Cosmetics kind of buffing brush. Gotta make sure you blend it down. Oh my god. <laughs> See guys, I have to do this otherwise I just don't match and I prefer to match, obviously. Soon I'll see it. There'll be a video where no one comments to tell me, did you know that your foundation doesn't match your skin? It might not match the skin on my face, but it matches the skin on my neck, and that's all that matters. Days like this, I wish I had freckles, because things like this, you can still see your natural skin underneath, and I think having freckles would just be super pretty. After my skin makeup, I tend to do my eyebrows, and my go-to kind of products for this, especially if I need to be quick, kind of like on an everyday basis, it's a really good pencil and a brow set. So today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Soft Brown, and my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in medium to dark. Um, I do have um, a few favourite eyebrow pencils. I really, really like the Makeup Forever Sculpting Pencil, and I have this one in the shade 
taupe and then of course you guys know I'm obsessed with the Soap and Glory Brow Archery Pencil in Hot Chocolate so I tend to kind of switch up between these three but this is definitely my go-to kind of like brow set. I definitely plan to do an updated brow routine really soon just because I always skip through them in my tutorials just because I feel like everyone does their eyebrows differently but I thought of like maybe doing a brow tutorial like a two-in-one like a brow tutorial for when you're going out and you want to make your eyebrows look like extra f like amazing and then a brow like an everyday brow tutorial because they're two very different sets for me I could spend like 45 minutes trying to do my brows before going out and then on a day-to-day -day basis like this like do it like in two minutes so let me know if you'd want to see that I like to use a brow set just to make sure like everything's kind of set in place and just to darken the hairs underneath because as you can see the colour that I use to fill them in is darker than my natural hair so I kind of want to tint them as well. Make them appear a bit fuller. Oh my god, having your face this close to the palette smells phenomenal. One brow done. Second eyebrow done. I think eyebrows and skin are like two massive catfish traits of mine. Speaking of skin, after I do my eyebrows, I like to move on to a concealer. So my go-to concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm, just because you get such a nice coverage with this and I really, really like the colour. The other go-to concealers that I do like to use on, on like a daily basis is the Maybelline Age Rewind and the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Natural, both of these provide the same sort of similar coverage. I just kind of prefer the undertone and colour of this one, but I do love these two also. So I'll always just apply it in like a upside down triangle, down my nose, brows, and like chin. And I'll always, always use like a damp sponge to blend it out, either this one, this is the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge, or the Beauty Blender. If you ever see me using a brush, it is because I've already started filming and I forgot to like bring <laughs> my sponge in, so I'll use a brush instead. But yeah, I always love this because it just absorbs excess product and just blends things so, so, so much easier. I feel like my roots are getting darker and darker by the like second. So I next time I get my hair done, which is going to be the 4th of March because I'm going to a salon I'm going to vlog it for you guys I don't know whether to kind of embrace them and kind of go for like a balayage type thing which is kind of similar to what I have now but at the moment it's a bit kind of like choppy so I don't know whether to kind of embrace the dark root and go for like a balayage effect or to like go all over one colour like blonde or just go fuck it and go really dark brown but I always always get tempted when I see people with really dark hair, I'm so, so jealous because I really like the look of like really dark hair and really bright blue eyes. But then I think I, I've spent so long getting my hair blonde, I just miss it too much. Oh, And also using a sponge to blend it out, kind of make sure everything is kind of as thin on the face as possible. Because like I said, these sponges are really good at absorbing excess product. So nothing till feels too thick or cakey on the face because sometimes this might be quite a lot of makeup for like someone on their skin if they might just wear tinted moisturiser or something like that. So for every day this kind of makes it a lot more comfortable. I sometimes feel like I literally just don't make sense and I just ramble. Anyway, moving on to powder. On like an everyday basis I just tend to use um, a translucent powder so either like my Laura Mercier one or I've got one from NARS as well. It's like their crystal one but I've just picked up the... Rimmel Clear Complexion Translucent Powder and I just dust that everywhere. Also, I like to set kind of my eyelid. <laughs> I like to set my eyelids with powder. Um, just because, like I said, I get, I'm get i quite lazy on like a day-to-day -day, so I don't really use an eye primer. Even though I will wear like eye makeup, I don't really use an eye primer. So I just like to make sure that my eyelids are set to stop any creasing when we move on to the eyes. All set. To bronze up my skin, bronze is something that I don't really have a preference in which one I use. I've got quite a few that I really, really love. This one I'm obsessed with at the moment though. It is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze in Natural. This is probably like the biggest bronzer I own. I love it to death. 
but it's such a bugger to put in storage. It just has to lay flat in its own section. Moving on to blusher, recently if you watched my American Haul video, I picked up this blusher from Milani in the shade Dolce Pink and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It gives such a nice kind of tint pink glow to the skin and if you're from the UK you can get this from Amazon. I've checked and um, I've ordered Milani Luminoso from Amazon before. Obviously if you're from America or wherever, hopefully you can get your hands on this because this is gorgeous. But other blushes that I really like as well are the, ooh, the Laura Geller blush in Roseberry. I really like this one and the Balm. Big Mama blusher. This one's kind of like your NARS orgasm. It's got that gold um, tint running through it, just like the Dolce Pink one does, but this one's sort of a bit more darker and a bit more kind of bronze goddessy. So depending on how tan I am or kind of what look I'm feeling, I tend to switch up between these. I think if you used to watch my videos, you'd know like I was never ever a blush person. Like I never wore blush and I always told myself I hated it, but recently I'm like obsessed with it. So if you were like me and you are scared to try blusher, do it. And use this one because it's amazing. Shut the fuck up. Moving on to highlight. Recently I picked up the Hourglass Strobing Powders. This one's in the shade Brilliant Light. And I am obsessed with the formula of these. If you guys get the chance um, to get your hands on them, definitely this one or the Euphoric Light one. They give such a gorgeous... Um, glow to the skin, like I said they're, a, they're, they're called strobing powders, they're not called highlighters and I can definitely tell a difference in formula, these go on a lot creamier than regular kind of powder highlighters and give you definitely more of a strobing finish to the skin which is a lot more natural but um, other highlighters that I do really really like that have the same sort of colour are the Mary Luminizer by The Balm and this one from Peaches Makeup and this is called, and this is a strobing powder in the shade Halo. So the formula of this one is really, really similar to the Hourglass, but colour-wise, Mary Luminizer is the same. So I kind of like to switch it up. I'll always highlight every day. And that's it for the skin. So for some people that might be quite like a lot of makeup, but like I said, and obviously by the title, this is kind of like my every make every day makeup. So for me, that's not really a lot compared to what you probably used to seeing on my channel. And it's just what makes me feel comfortable on a day-to-day -day basis. Moving on to eye makeup. Now, eye makeup is something that I change up all the time. If you guys know me and like um, you guys know I love glam makeup. So my technically like everyday makeup routine probably would involve like wing and lashes like all the time. There are days that I like to wear really really minimal but um, this type of minimal makeup for me might be your like glam makeup so I hope this kind of appeals to everyone and there's like a balance and no one's gonna be like it's too much or whatever because the whole point of makeup and everyone is different so the whole point is to be diverse and have fun, well, it makes you feel comfortable. I always feel like I have to justify myself, but yeah. So like I said, for every day, I normally really can't be bothered to wear an eye base, but um, I just tend to grab a palette that I know has a couple of crease colors in it that I really like. So for today, I've got the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm probably gonna be using these two kind of colors, the like light, softer brown ones. I like um, Texture from MAC as an everyday eyeshadow as well, or like the Morphe 350 palette, those kind of warm colours. I'll take like one or two from then, and then something really light and shimmery, champagne on the lid. So today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Iced Latte. So if you watched my haul video, you'll see you'll have seen a swatch of this already. So you know what kind of shade it is. If you don't want to like kind of use loads of different products, and this is going to make a really nice eyeshadow as well. But yeah, so that's kind of what I'd wear on like an everyday basis on the eyes. So something light and shimmery on the lid, and then something really soft in the crease. I feel like I just rambled for so long about bloody eye makeup and what people like to wear on an everyday basis. You just do you. Just something that's going to make me look a bit more awake and alive, ready for the day, is my everyday look. Then, like I said, just taking this warm brown shade from the Chocolate Bar Too Faced Palace, Palace? Palette, on a fluffy Sigma brush. Oh my god, this palette smells so good. And then just buffing that into my socket.
Then I'm going to take that same light brown eyeshadow and just run it under my eye just because I really like to put eyeshadow under my eye just because I feel like it completes the kind of eye look and makes my eyes appear brighter. You don't have to do this but it's just something I like to do no matter what. Then I think I'm just going to take a tiny tiny dab of the darker brown eyeshadow and just use that to give my eyes just a bit more depth. So this is what the eyes kind of look like with nothing on. Still really minimal in my eyes, but obviously it's totally up to you. You could wear less, wear more, do whatever you want. And normally you guys know me how much I love lashes. So depending on how I feel, I would normally maybe apply some natural lashes. But for today, I really, really can't be bothered. So what I like to do is curl my eyelashes using the half lash curlers from MAC. Because my eyelashes are really short, which is why I do like to wear false eyelashes. So. After I curl them, I like to make sure, if I know I'm not going to wear lashes, I am wearing a really voluminous mascara. So I'm going to go in with the MAC, ex no, the MAC in Extreme Dimension Mascara afterwards. This is a really, really good mascara for kind of like instant volume and drama. So if you kind of like the look of false lashes and that kind of volume, this is a really good mascara. Especially if you curled your lashes too. that is the finished eye look. To finish off my look, I normally like to obviously apply something to apply something to my lips. So my kind of two kind of go-to products is a lipstick and a lip gloss. I don't really tend to apply a pencil kind of every day unless um, I've kind of got the time or whatever. So I'm gonna be using this lipstick from Bite Beauty. This is in the shade Retsina, I think, which is basically just a really soft pink shade and then the gloss on top I'm going to be wearing is NARS Sweet Dreams. I remember I bought this lipstick ages ago because I watched uh, one of Manny and UA's favourite videos and then it's just been in my drawer and then only recently I kind of swatched it and I was like, oh my god this is actually such a nice colour, I totally forgot I had it so if you guys get the chance, I think um, I got mine from Sephora so it is such a nice kind of colour. And then put the gloss on top. This one's like a nice soft pink, but it's got a bit of gold running through it, so it makes your lips look extra sparkly. So that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys prefer kind of more chatty talk through tutorials rather than voiceovers, because I do do them from time to time. Voiceover is just a bit easier for me when explaining what I'm doing. But if you guys prefer these types of videos, let me know. Obviously, this is just my everyday makeup. You guys can just watch along while you're doing your kind of everyday makeup, and maybe this just gives you a few different product ideas or what have you. But yeah, make sure you're following me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'll leave that all kind of here. But yeah, until the next video, I will see you soon. Bye guys.